not the way you want your day to start with massive rain but I'm hoping I'm hoping this rain is gonna back off around 10 30 right now it's 9 o'clock we're supposed to start at 7 this morning called the guys and said hey not looking the best thunderstorms are coming through so let's push it back to 10 30 right now it's 906 it's got an hour and a half for this rain to kind of push offshore and give us a little bit of break midday before the storms pick up again this afternoon so here's hoping that we can get out there stay safe have some fun catch some fish uh, make some memories for these guys and do what we do catch fish so y'all come on with us Hopefully I can video if it's not raining too much and we'll see what we can get done. First step is to either catch a shark behind a shrimp boat or go jig some sardines at some uh, near shore wrecks. So, see you when we get offshore. First thing I had to do was pull through the gate stays to give me one of these little burritos. <laughs> well, looks like the competition level is low today. Uh, there's nobody here, but there's one boat and it looks like I can't tell if they're leaving or staying But other than that the competition is zero That's because there's a lot of smart fishermen out there and they stayed home today unlike us But the fish have to be caught by somebody and if nobody else is coming out there, then we're forced to do it ourselves All right, I got my monkey suit on time to put the boat in the water Still raining, and it is uh, 9.32. Yeah, so I only got it, you know, poured the coals to him there for a couple minutes. Ain't got him coming up now, though. You got him beat. Yeah. What we got? What we got? Woo! There's your red snapper, son. Oh, shit. Ooh. Yeah. That's what I said, buddy. Let me get to uh -huh. the side here. You can see the beach, too. Yeah, boy. Look at that. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one there. Cool. Got, got Mass chaos going on over here. Rainy day. The weather's beat up to death. White cap on the end behind us. It was raining hard earlier. We had a rain gear on. What you got here? A baccarota. Trying to find something to bend the rod. We found it. Oh no! I don't know no more. Don't run no more. Find my hook. Give me some flight. Let's get that rod tip. Give me some more line. What you doing over there, Michael? Cold bite spin slow. Got one king fish. Could have been as low unit off. Another kingfish we kept, he's legal. And then uh, another small one we had to throw back. Little bottom fish, we caught the snapper. And uh, yeah, Michael, whatever this big thing is. Oh, yeah. He'll fry up. Every time you turn the handle one time, it's four foot of line you take in. So you ain't got to get quite as fast. Oh, okay. There we go. I see it right here. Up, up slow, down slow. We're about to get a visual on this. Oh, never mind. There, 510. Must have some shoulders on him. Maybe it ain't a barracuda. We got another big old toothy critter. Look at them teeth. He, ain't, he can't put a hurting on you. Oh, huh. Got a double header going. Port side. Starboard side. We got one more rod back here. I don't know what they're going to do when that one gets hit. Guess we'll find out. 
go slow and easy. Well, the Barracuda Reef. Great Barracuda Reef. Getting some ground now. Yeah. Well, I won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't need the gas, old man. You got George trying to make an appearance over here? Right, oh, yeah, I see him there. Oh, yeah, he's healthy. Oh, that's a good weight, probably 15, 18 pounds. Mike was over here just playing around, gooping off. Good grief, son. There he is. Look at there. Big old toothy critter. Don't really know what he did. Nice. Oh, yeah. There he is. Yeah. Brent. Come look at this thing. Look at them. Get nervous, ain't it? Let's see his big Bertha down there sweating. <laughs> Fish number one. Somebody else ought to be getting eaten soon. Bird's got this bait. Oh yeah, now I got a seagull. Oh he oh yeah, that's gonna cost you there, partner. Oh he got so lucky. Boy's been double heading them all day here. Michael, work your way towards the front. Oh boy, oh boy, we got a jumper. We got a jumper. Oh, y'all got lucky he came off of there. I wanted to see what they was going to do. Two men, three fish at the same time. I wasn't bringing them in. Uh -huh. Not me. That's right. There he is. That's a decent eating size. Let me get the gas. They're working on my left hand and gaffing technique. Look at there. <laughs> got him right in the meat. You got the gaff, take that forward. Oh, what's the hook in the seat? Nice fish. Brent's still working on this one. Well, I didn't think we was going to see that sun when I was headed to the boat ramp this morning. I'm sure glad to see it, but it still ain't looking the best back towards the west. That's made around. Got some more storms building back in there. Oh, I got some color. Let's give me some slack. Let's take that rod down. Oh, that's another good size one there, too. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Grab that line and pull him back your way. I don't want no comments in here about my bad gaff shot. You try holding a camera and gaffing a fish at the same time. Check this out. Woo wee. Rod benders. It's a little, little rocky rolly out here.
we got a drift going. We got each man holding the rod. Who's gonna be first? The anticipation's killing me. Well, Michael's fish missed his, and then Brent didn't have a bait on there. As soon as we gave him a bait, wham! Really, we can cast it back out behind us. You need to check your bait anyway and see if he's got some cut marks on him. Oh, he's doing good. Yep, we let him. Can you fish one? What's that? It's about a big king of fish. I thought it was a king of fish. Now I gotta see if he's big enough to keep. It looks like he is. Oh yeah, he's plenty big. Look at that boy, last little king mackerel. Got them in the guts. Better in the face. Yeah. I mean in the meat. Alright, another one for the road. Made it back to the dock. About to put this boat back on the trailer. Head to the house. Had a good time. Made a good day out of some pretty bad conditions. I'm glad it laid down and I'm glad no more storms came through. But I uh, enjoyed those guys from Texas. Had a good time with them. Caught some fish and made some memories. We're going to go get some rest and do it again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. That's all we got. Take care.